Yo, what is on YouTube? This is your boy CJ underscore GF, and we are back at it again with another video, man. Turn that post notification bell, start saying to drop another video, man. Hey, look, this is episode two to Marvel's Avengers. I mean, not Marvel's Avengers, but Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. And um, yeah, let's get him in. Let's go. And um, yeah, we still left, we still on the first mission that we had, so let's get it. And um, post notification bell, turn it on. You know, what I'm saying, get a, let's get ten likes in the video. And once again, to my boy, shout out to my boy Speedy for hooking me up with the game, man. Thank you for letting me use your account, dog. Much love from, much love from me, dog. And um, yeah, once again, down below, comment hashtag go speedy or you know what I'm saying and uh let's get it man let's go we would likely receive higher compensation hey we ain't caging nothing that can complain about i have to say that is an immaculate parking job thanos never tolerated <laughs> yeah yeah this is it last spot Wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it uh doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? Oh! Your monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. That's one less thing to hide behind. Good thinking, well. Maybe try calling it like a pet. Here, monster. Who's a good monster? I'm getting your monster snacks. Yummy! I missed. Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Okay, well down. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Now how are we gonna catch that? Enough with the warm-up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. His name is that. Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! Whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins. Crash, go! 
<laughs> Hold on to your butts, people. Rocket, hit the music. On it. Focus on flying, Peter. Someone play this man a song. <laughs> now we're talking. Watch the ship. I'm watching, I'm watching. You ain't. Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Clue instructed. Someone give me a hand. <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away! Well. Time to thread the needle. Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through. Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, Damn. assassin. Don't you get going like this! My shit! Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduth. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? Peace, so. Root says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! You want me to take the control? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to steal! Gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand contact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! We're scarred on all sides. We ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Home stretch! No last breath! Let's get it. Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people. How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Don't be Nova Corps, please don't be Nova Corps, please don't be Nova Corps. Is Nova Core. <laughs> now we hit the title screen in the second episode. Thing I got, I gotta do. I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. It could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide it in the secret cargo compartment behind Brute's plants. Peter, Jason, Quill. My middle name. Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corell, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too, Corel. Come on, Corel. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war, like... Really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. 
Peter Quill. I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship, even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide rockets crate. Peter, okay. You're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? He wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Uh, look at that. Now, I'm gonna let y'all know I'm gonna be trying to make these no episodes shorter. Pirates like you. That's just it, we're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> Really? It says right here. What's happening? Prisoner processing training. I'm doing good. Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for the Not the much. Um, let me finish it recording this episode yeah. and I'll call you back. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off. All right. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff. If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. Here goes Plan B. We don't need a plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoner. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business like folk on legitimate like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh, hold it right here. Mm -hmm. a problem. Yes, no faith, energy, no power. No power. No contempt. Dang. Techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the Flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Breaker. Leader of the Church of Universal something. 
he was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Let's go. Caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, you just tell the captain that I. Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no. super clear you on the mom. Touch that. Damn. No girl. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Let me just see if I can. Hold on. My son. Get my shit. Get hold. Did that go? Was it? Nikki. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Yes, sir. Light work. Jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on. If I can fly up. No. You're my prisoner. My godness. Obviously. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? Yeah, he would think so. Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine, ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Yes! Got it! Through here! Let's go. Nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have live signs. So, what's the bad news? Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Okay. These fires so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Cap Easy does it. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. 
Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, <laughs> I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. Gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. A personality. Very cool. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, possibly. I didn't have a that lot makes of sense. At your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom uh, died. How do you know my mom exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is a real spitfire. More like real controlling and bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. This way. Yeah, this is man. An attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know because <clears throat> I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Just just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Is this your mom single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was uh was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort differently. Pirating? Hey, secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your yeah. mom react before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my past me. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <clears throat> Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? Can explain. <sighs> Nikki, I'm fine. Mom, seriously, a okay, barely a scratch. What in hell is me? What you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad, running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom, you promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up? Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Uh-oh. <laughs> I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level, captain's quarter. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> Initiate not lockdown. 
All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. You clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security. Or through the hangar bay checkpoint. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. There's a lot of feelings to part of. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, log down. Lock down, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Damn. So. So rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury's what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. On second thought, it's only fair if I ask Chewie. He is a grown Wookiee, definitely old enough to make his own decisions. Okay. Yeah, he says he's okay. So, uh, how are you doing? You okay? Peter. Come on now. Picked up your ship. Part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay eight thousand units in three cycles. Wow, okay, that is a lot of money. <laughs> I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on... I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever? You won't regret it. I promise. Uh. 
Uh, okay. You've Chewy. Got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell? What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. No. Yeah. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> <laughs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS-14 zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick quest? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. Do not think that I can... Here we go. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. Really now? We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always He's holding out my on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will Scott sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. Well, guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. 
No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. A small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. <laughs> and we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Damn. We're not seriously flying into that. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Damn. They not playing. This weather on some there. other shit. That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Whoa. <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one. Minor. Adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Man. So, we're... Not only are we a... I'm flying. A Monsters distance from, ba from the place. Monsters do whatever they want. Get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does. <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? One tick, done. Ah, got a crick in my back because of that. All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this episode. Go to like, comment, and or subscribe. Roll to 500 subscribers to man turn that post notification bell so I can stay in tune and drop another video. Shout out to your friends, your family, and your pet lizard, man. Shout out to the GFM once again. Shout out to my boy Speedy for hooking me up with the game. And uh, yeah, we up out of here. And that's all. Game.